When a stolen vehicle out of Taylor was spotted in East Point early Friday morning, police quickly moved in, but the driver had other plans. She hit the gas pedal, swiping a squad car before speeding the wrong way on a major thoroughfare. That woman is still on the run. Let me take you through the dash cam video. <laughs> A wrong way driver being chased by police in East Point hit speeds of more than 70 miles per hour on Gratiot. Narrowly avoiding other cars, the woman tries racing through residential areas in a stolen van before crossing over into Roseville. That is crazy that she should be arrested because um, was she running or she took off with the car? She took off with the car. Yeah, she should be arrested. The chase started at this 7-Eleven at Nine Mile and Hayes early Friday morning. They found it suspicious of people being sleeping in a car in a parking lot, so they ran the plate and realized it was stolen. A man and a woman were inside. She was not about to surrender and gunned it. The officer was on her uh, driver's side window and she reared to the left. Officer jumped out of the way in order not to be hit. In the process, she hit the officer's vehicle and fled. There was minor damage to the squad car and the police officer was not injured. After a short chase, the woman crossed into Roseville and East Point police stopped the pursuit. Do we know who you are? Just come and turn yourself in. Make it easy on everybody. Uh, longer you run, more trouble you're going to get. When you think that it happened right here, just a few hours ago? Mm, it's scary. Yeah. And I just walked up here without even knowing. If I knew that, I wouldn't have came up here. Roseville police also chased the woman briefly, but called it off due to public safety concerns. East Point police say Taylor PD helped identify that driver. Anyone with information is asked to call East Point police.